a bit of a live action video today. I was going to upload Resident Evil Part 9, but my recording fucked up, so I need to re-record the whole thing. But I'm standing here in my garage because I do, as you've seen on the channel, some of the shorts, some random motorbike stuff, like fix them up and car. But the sort of stuff I want to put on this channel as well because there's one project that I'm going to be doing this year which is my very first bike it's been sitting here for 16 years in this garage so what I'm going to do is fix it up there's another reason why I'm fixing it up because if the internet is to be believed from howmanyleft.com and any information that website I used there are only four of these left registered in the UK and it's an incredibly rare bike anyway because it was only on sale for nine months and it's not an exaggeration literally for nine months this bike was on sale it's a uh, basically a 1980s honda mb5 and as you can see the engine is missing <laughs> i blew the engine up when i was 16. i didn't really i got this bike off my mom she was the first owner of it and the previous owner when I was 16, I got this bike. Used it for a few months. That was a really close shot, I'm really sorry about that. I'm not used to the whole holding camera thing. I blew the engine up. Basically what I did was the Conrod, I think it's Conrod, the bearing, I fried it because I pushed this thing. This is a 50cc that could do 70 mile an hour. So it's kind of, kind of amazing to me. So I was just checking the camera was still on. Front screen went off. Like I say, I'm not used to this. But yeah, there are only apparently four of these left in registered in the country. I feel I should put this one back on the road because I do have the engine. Like I said, I blew it up. <coughs> it's been sitting here, literally in this spot, for about 16 years. Because me and my dad started taking it apart because what happened was I seized the engine one day completely seized it up you can see from the damage on here and I thought okay I just seized the engine and we thought I just destroyed the piston because there was a nick in the barrel which is over there somewhere it turns out we put a new barrel and piston on but well, we got a piston kit put the barrel back on did it again and we discovered that the bearing here, that you can't see very well on this camera, but there's a, at the end of this rod, the con rod, the roller pin bearing thing in there, that's shot. And we didn't have a press or any equipment to press this back together and put it in. Also, didn't have any money. And then, another thing happened is, we took all the bolts out, we can't split this. We stopped because we couldn't get this open to get that out. And I just gave up. Let my CBT run out, parked the bike there, and left it. Actually, still got all the parts in the box. Still have the nut sitting on top of the, I want to say, I can't remember where that part is now, the generator. Still sitting where I left it, years ago. But this year, I'm going to get this open. I bought a new, whole new assembly. Well, I say new, good second hand. And we're going to put it in. I'm going to fix up this bike. My Honda MB50. This is not, no, this is not the original tank. This is not the original colour scheme that the bike came out. Originally it was red. But Honda in the 80s, I don't know if it was just Honda, used really shit metal in their tanks. And they developed pinhole leaks. Which the original red one did. I think I've still got the original red tank back there. So my dad, years and years and years ago, back in like the 80s this was, bought a new tank, white, stuck it on. That's what this is. This is all the original paint. I think that's the original front mud guard. That, I believe, turn my screen back on, is aftermarket. That screen is definitely aftermarket. But as for all of this, original. Original seat. Not the original seat cover, my dad recovered it. Original indicators, original carry rack, original indicators on the front, original shocks, original wheels. 
everything on this is original, original paint and I think it's time to put this back on the road because if the internet is one, to be believed, there are only four of these left so, a very rare bike and it deserves to live again so if, this, if you want to see more, let me know and I'll do a video of trying to split this when I get around to working out, I've still got a few more parts to buy but it should be very soon, next month or so so let me know, subscribe to the channel and you'll get the updates but if not, doesn't matter and I'll probably see you in another video which is probably going to be Resident Evil sort of a little cut there, someone's walking past, I'm doing this outside where well, there's lots of people and if you are interested, if this video is interesting and takes off and I complete this my next project <coughs> is actually buried under there <laughs> you can just maybe see the screen that my dad put on on this one which is Honda CB750 F2 19... it's an X-Reg so I can't remember what that is but that's an American import 750 oh. For that, that's now. <laughs> More parts of this bike. That's the original colour, original paint. So where my dad used to work. I'm keeping that sticker on there because the paint's probably faded underneath it. You can see where, if you're in person, the top's faded and the rest doesn't. So yeah, that's going to be the project on the channel, and that project is going to be next because that also has a blown engine. Well, timing chain snapped and rattled around, and then we parked it and. 20 years ago, about 16 years, about 20 years, ish, anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever, I'm going to be doing a bit more mechanics, mechanical content on this channel, because I also have to get going so I can sell my hire song. As you can see, that's in a bit of a worse state. That has a running engine, and at least. So yeah, yeah, yeah. End of the video now. Subscribe to see more of this and more of that. Peace. Wherever you want to do it.